All right, watch this. Look, 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 look. Faint. Trying to back tank. Tank backs up. Okay. Using the ring. Smart. Not biting on nothing. Tank getting ready. Fake jabs. Watch this. Watch this. Back him up. I think I got him. I think I got him. I think I bow. We fall down, but we get up. I'm mad. Got to, got to get back the big payback. Tio Fimo Lopez wants to avenge Rolando Roly Ramiro's loss to Tank Davis. Tank said the ref knew if he would have let Roly back out there to fight that Roly was leaving on a stretcher. Facts. Round six, it was all over. You guys seen the clip at the beginning. Tank Davis, he's a monstrosity. Big puncher. He's doing great numbers. This video that you see on the screen, it says 2.5 mil. A milli, a milli. If you check on Showtime Boxing right now, it's over 3 million, close to 4 million. Tank also was on Google Trends. Now you got Teofimo Lopez basically saying he wants to avenge that loss. Roly Romero suffered to Tank Davis. Fun fight, great buildup. Roly was not the better man on the given night. I think Roly can bounce back. He just has to take some time off, recalibrate, rest, recover, things like that. Teofimo wants to get the job done that Roly couldn't. Now, interesting enough, post fight after Tank knocked out Roly, he says one thing he knew is Roly keeps his chin basically in the air. So he wondered if that would play into the favor of Tank Davis. And obviously it did. Roly lunged in, came barreling forward not protected and he got clipped tank is fast and explosive now i gotta admit some of the stuff and i understand how it works trash talk and banter and stuff like that but some of the stuff that roly said and was saying it simply put has now been put to bed he said that tank only fights smaller people roly looked big to me roly looked big and roly looked considerably like almost two divisions bigger than gervonta davis so all the and, and I'm saying this because it's not just Roly Ramiro who has perpetuated this lie that Tank is a weight bully and all that. Tank is smaller than majority of the people that he fights. He came in even under the weight, like the he could have weighed 135 and he came in at 133 and change or something. So to me, this indicates that Tank being this focused getting away from the maddening crowd, being with his team and his nutritionist, distraction-free, he can still make probably 126, but definitely make 130. He was three three pounds away from making 130, and his power was still there. His body looked impressive and good, pause, but you know he looked completely ready to go and dialed in and maintained all of his attributes. I can understand if Tank, you've seen him on the scale and he looked like emaciated it looked like he was going to pass out like Jaime Munguia after the weigh-in but that wasn't the case and again it carried over to the fight he ate a meal got some carbs in you know carved up drank his water pedialytes and electrolytes and zincs and magnesium in the system and he looked ready to go tank's level of confidence is only going to soar from this and only going to grow as far as Teofimo this is the issue that I have throughout boxing and Teofimo particularly in this instance people will keep denying that Tank Davis is lit and a star but they have to mention him which kind of defeats the whole purpose of suggesting that you're the A side and what do I mean by this Teofimo previously before losing to George Cambosos, who's fighting this weekend against Devin Haney. You guys got to subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing, period. So we will get an official undisputed, something that Teofimo didn't do, but he claimed he was undisputed. And we'll get that this weekend with hopefully the winner decisive. And I say hopefully because there could be a chance that it's like 
Jermail Charlo, and I'm not hoping for this, but Jermail Charlo Castano won where we are supposed to get a conclusive winner as to who is the undisputed and it didn't happen. So hopefully, and I think the temperaments of the fighters, Devin Haney and Cambosos, we should get that. But as you guys see, that's the knockout boom. Tank Davis is a star, Tank is lit. And you had people like Teofimo Lopez who was claiming before he lost to Cambosos that he was actually the A-side over Tank. He literally fixed his mouth and said that. He said he's the A-side and Tank better do as I say kind of kind of thing because I'm really the A-side here. Now he has no belts and he's calling out Tank at 140 saying he wants to avenge Roley's loss. And, you know, it's a little bit weird. For starters, this false. Tank is absolutely the A-side. Tank had 19,000 people almost in the Barclays Center in New York. He's not even from New York. So T.O. has to sit down and understand that he is the B-side. I know his dad said, we got J-Lo and, you know, this, that, and the third. But all that J-Lo talk and this and that, J-Lo has never, I've never seen J-Lo in the same room and pictured with Teofimo Lopez. So I don't know about J-Lo and all that. Men lie, women lie, numbers don't. Tank had an incredible crowd featuring A-list celebrities, the Tory Laneses and Madonnas and basketball players, just like always. This is nothing new. So Teofimo absolutely is not the A-side. So given the fact that Tank just made weight under 135 and 133, who knows if he wants to go back to 140 right now. But either way, the A-side rules. See, people want to play these games in boxing, but we do not allow it on my channel. When Canelo Alvarez is clearly the A-side and Dunmore and bigger gates and all this type of stuff, no one has a problem saying, hey, Canelo's the dude. Canelo's the A-side. All the B-sides must bow down and succumb and do whatever that canelo says because he's the a side right no one has a problem with that but then when you have a black fighter from baltimore an american star who's putting up in in my opinion you look at tanks last five six fights in canelo's last five six fights tanks putting on far greater and more scintillating and exciting performances bringing out a whole different market his fight weeks are lit his press conferences are lit. He's looking the part. He's looking like a star. Jewelry, getting new tattoos and stuff like that. So, you know, he got the drip, all that. And this this helps with the image. There is no star in boxing right now under 30 that is connecting with older and younger generations like Shaquille O'Neal, whatever age he is, to the little Dirks of the world and the Cordays of the world, you know? And then bringing all the stars in or around his division, Shakur Stevenson, El Rayo, Ryan Garcia, Michelle Rivera, every single person that was in or around his division outside of Devin Haney. But we know Devin Haney got a lot of money and Devin Haney's in Australia. So had it not been for him actually having a fight, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest. If Devin didn't have a fight where he was already in Australia to fight a week later, I firmly believe that Devin Haney would be at this fight and it would have went to the Barclays. He seems like he spends a lot of time in New York and enjoys it out there, goes shopping and stuff, gets new jewelry out there if you follow his social media. So I really feel like had it not been for him fighting in Australia and needing to acclimate, he would have been at the fight too. So Tank is a star as far as Teofimo. I don't know about him avenging the loss, but he doesn't control in my, in my mind, seeing how he's not the A-side, he wouldn't control what division the fight happens at furthermore he's coming off of a loss so i think he would probably to make that fight because he's already not the a side as i've stated throughout this video he would probably want to get a win under his column and we don't even know how he's going to look at 140 so to me i know he's saying he wants to avenge the loss and things like that and he wants to fight him at 40 but he doesn't have that jurisdiction right especially coming off of a loss and then furthermore he's with top rank and bob arum and we don't know what their plans are so I always hear people like Tio Fimo and even Ryan Garcia, they're stating all these things as if they're like Floyd Money Mayweather and what they want to do and who they're fighting next. And Ryan Garcia saying, F-U-C-K, Golden Boy, I'm going to do my thing. And 
they're making it like they have the complete and utter control of their career. And I personally do not believe that is the case. I think Golden Boy definitely has a contract with Ryan Garcia and that say so. And I think Bob Arum and Split T Management and Top Rank and all them and ESPN have a lot of say so on who Teofimo fights and when they fight him and things like that. Teofimo, keep in mind, he was complaining saying that he wanted more money for the Lomachenko fight. And he had to fight for it to get more money. You have never heard about these kind of concerns with Gervonta Davis. I never heard Tank Davis complaining about the type of money he was making. However, we have heard both Ryan Garcia and Teofimo complaining that Golden Boy and or Top Rank has stalled out and not they need to pay him more money and things like that. Tank's not complaining about these things. More proof that Tank is the A side. So we'll see. As far as him saying he he wants to avenge the loss and all that, like I said, we'll see. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Subscribe. Hopefully you like the video. And I'm out. Introducing Super Thanks. Right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube. Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hybrid Nation 5s by Kanichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hybrid Nation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hybrid Nations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We working.